That is just... I. There aren't words for that. There are so many blasphemies in that sentence that I don't know... Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Uh, light the on, light's yeah. on. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, fi we'll finish this up later. Anyways, good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Front Row Geeks. My name is Faye Tess. Uh, of course, you know Asher over here as well. Yep. And we are continuing Final Fantasy VI. Where last we left off, we had just defeated Atma Weapon. Yep. And, ram and um, uh, Shadow freaked out and bailed on us. And then we ran back to save real quick. Wait a minute. What are you waiting for? Okay, I, I didn't hear myself for a second, and then I just was like, wait a minute. Okay, no, I can't hear myself. It's just weird, because I'm a little softer than you for some odd reason. I haven't done anything to the volumes. I know. Oh, wait, am I doing that? No, am I doing that wrong? I'm doing that right, aren't I? I think I'm doing that right. We'll see in a minute. Yeah. Okay. No, it, I, it's just I was being a little weird, so oh. don't worry about it. Okay, well, I mean, that, that's kind of normal. I mean, what? <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. That's crazy. Well, so, Merry uh, Christmas. Ah, yes. Yes, a... Um, Happy wintering mass to all, and to all fat loots. <laughs> yes, I bring that back as I do every year. It's just I haven't said it yet today. Because I don't inter I haven't interacted with anyone today until now. Because that's the type of holiday that is a holiday for me. Zero interaction. Well, other than you guys. You guys are cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is right, because that's the airship that I'm not jumping to. Mm -hmm. No, I wish to push forward. Okay. Oh, so we didn't leave the island. Okay. No, we didn't leave the island, but you're right. Every time we've been saving, it's been acting as if we did as well. So yeah. the possibility does exist that we may see an old friend here in a second. Yeah, I... And I'm think, hoping I'm wrong. Yeah, I hope we're wrong because then it's just we're redoing the boss fight again. And this but time no. with three people instead of four. Yeah. But I think, and I do mean think, is that it only happened when I left the island. So, so because we'll I left see. the island to get items. Yeah, and I was considering, I was strongly considering leaving to get rages. But I've decided, no, I can wait on those rages until certain other events occur. Yeah, certain events that shall be happening forthwith. I pronounced that horribly wrong. I actually no, admit forthwith. that. No, forthwith. Forthwith, that's correct. I said fort, not fort. Oh, fortwith. Yes. So, um... no. I... <laughs> I was like, that's not... Yeah, I mean, like, it may have come across as forthwith, but no, I I, I said something else. Okay. Well, I, I was trying society. to get the measurement of a fort's width. So. Um, fortunately, there isn't a standard measurement for that. Forts come in all shapes and sizes. I know. And we'll put you on, on Ifrit so you can get bigger. Because you're done with spells. You're that's still working on that. Could... Yes, he did not come back. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Okay, cool. <clears throat> well, well. Celeste, welcome back. I came to stop you. <laughs> then you're just in time to perish. Behold the statues! That's creepy. It looks like he's dra draining magic from them. Ugh! I've got goosebumps. What power! Emperor Gestalt, please stop this madness. Oof. Oof! Oof! Oh no! 
They've been sparkled. Yeah. Celeste, come to me, my pretty. You and Kefka were given life to serve me. It is your birthright to rule the world with me. Kill the others and we'll overlook your treachery. <laughs> Take the sword. Take care of them immediately. And... Celeste, together... I'm starting to slip into Palpatine here. <laughs> yes, unlimited well. power. I might as well. Celeste, yeah. together we can rule an entire world. Think of it. Power only breeds war. I wish I'd never been born. That's a little deep. Ooh. And dark. Ouch! M blood? I'm a vicious dead. brat! Goddesses, you were born only to fight. I implore you, show me your power. I command you, give me your power. The curses. Listen to me or you'll regret it. Give me power. Dang it. Go, go. Kefka, stop it. Revive those statues and you'll destroy the very world we're trying to possess. I don't even know where that one went. Shut up. Kafka, are you nuts? Nuts? Emperor, don't disturb me. I'm showing them the meaning of power. I don't think so, friend. I I just don't have a single Gestalt tonight. This is like the fifth Gestalt accent. Well, we know what's going to happen to him at soon anyway, so... Your days are now over. Now relax. I'm simply going to put you to sleep with the very power you unleashed. Okay, I'm getting closer back to Palpatine. What's so funny? Very well. It is only fitting that you go to sleep laughing. I'm pretty sure that was a deliberate Wolseyism to soften the event, the soften the dialogue. Yeah. Fire three. Flare. No. Why isn't my magic working? Melton. Which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be melt down. As we use nowadays. Yeah. Kafka. How? How are you doing this? How? Simple. I'm standing within the field of the statues. Their strong field absorbs all magic sent their way. Or didn't you notice? Mm hmm. 
And now, statues, you've shown me a sign. It is time you show this old man your true power. No, Kefka. Don't do something stupid. I command you, statues. I incredible. You're way off! Why are you aiming? Whoa, more to the right! Uh, run! Run! Or you'll be well done! Yes! For old. Oh well, what a worthless excuse of an emperor. Rod in pieces, Gestalt. There'll be no one to worship us. Snap out of it, Kefka. Oh, that's really smart, Kefka. Disturb their delicate balance and they'll go haywire. There he is. <laughs> oh, good day, Gestol. Off you go. No. Go. There are people counting on you. Don't worry about me. Run. I can't stop this chain reaction. I'll see you again. Count on it. You can't escape me! Shadow. Gotta get out of here on the double. Yeah, I need a second to make sure that Celeste is properly equipped before I do that. That's a good thing I decided to do so. Because she yeah. was unequipped. That's not good. There we go. Just something she can equip while I'm doing this. Because I'm already on a timer. Yeah. I'll have a ton of time to be messing around. I'll screw you too. Six minutes. Six minutes. Yeah, who knows how far I've got to go. I mean, technically, yeah. we know how far. Oh, we know, like, wholeheartedly. It's just... Great. As soon as I saw the name, all I could think of is that one episode of Curse Calligally Dog. I was feeling a bit... Naughty. I don't see how people got freaking, like scared as a kid from that. I thought it was as funny as shit. 
I admittedly did get a little freaked out. I'm not gonna lie. Because I had no idea what was going on. I knew I had a short time to try and escape. I figured that everything oh. was going to hell. And I saw the path dis disintegrating all around me. I'm like, oh. ooh. Especially with oh, the, the next game. thing. Oh, yeah. oh, you're talking about something else. Yeah. No, this one, like, yeah, it, it got me a little uh, frazzled. Doesn't help that I'm getting high encounter rate. Yep. I think in the GBA version, they increased the timer a bit to 10. Which is, I mean, admittedly, it should still be enough. It's just, it's a bit squeaky britches. Yeah, well, they kept the encounter rate, I think, the same, but they increased it to 10 just, just as a, like, instead of being, like, a weird number, it's like a nice even one. Well, it helps that I also did turn on previously memory. Yeah. Because if I was trying to like scroll to uh, scroll to um, straight cat every single fight, that's just unnecessary time. Yeah. Come on, come on, it come also on. Also helps that. <laughs> yeah, somebody learned build. And tag the light. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Oh, that's a problem. Uh-oh. Spaghettos. Oh. And it's over. That's easier than I remember it being. I remember being, like, super hard. I think it was mostly probably the stress of the timer. Yeah. And I mean, like, it is doomed, but it's one of those, like... Uh... Weird, why does Gao have a higher timer than everybody else? I mean, uh -oh. certain of his do give death resistance, so... No, yeah. I don't think Stray Cat gives death resistance, though. I don't think so, and I just saw the, uh... The whole, like, healing from uh, Celeste. Yeah, I immediately tried to fix it the next turn, but she didn't make it to there. Because, like, freaking drill a hole through somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how that kind of changes the balance of the battle a little bit. I got two and a half minutes left. I'm not worried anymore. <laughs> and now we just sit and wait. Uh, not exactly where I'm standing, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, like... Because this is the thing that, like, I had a problem with, because, like, I always... Yeah, this is the part that bugged me when I was younger, because it kept saying, gotta wait for Shadow, and I'm like, how fucking long do I need to wait? And it's... you literally have to wait until... The timer is time. literally about to run out. So we got two minutes of free time now. Uh... We can talk about more Final Fantasy VI stuff, we can talk about other stuff... Well, the good Final Fantasy VI stuff is literally about to happen, so it's not like we can really talk about that too much. Yeah. Um, are you going to do the saving or uh, letting him, you know, go away? The plan is to save, although the best laid plans of mice and men. Okay. So... People find out very soon what I mean by that, and it's pretty straightforward. It's just...
didn't want to leave. Yeah, didn't want to actually state it, even though this game is what almost uh, thirty years old now. Uh, closing on it. I want to say twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah. Because I want to say that I think the copyright date, I think we've actually had this discussion before, but I think the copyright date, at least for the U.S. version, the uh, the SNES version, the yeah, the SNES version, pretty sure the copyright date was 94. Mm. Let's see here, Final Fantasy VI. So that means the U.S. street uh, date should have been 94. Initial release is 94, and I'm pretty sure that's uh, uh, Japan. Uh, nope. North American release in 94. Okay. Okay. Eight, seven, six, five. There he is. Shadow. I'll be blown to bits before I can even collect my pay. <laughs> Can't you defuse the statues? Oh, looks like I missed a chest. Oops. Oh, well. A little late now. Oh. Hello. Hello, terraforming. Hello, large-scale terraforming. I know some people are going to like, isn't Oof. terraforming large scale by its nature? I'm like, yes and no. I'm sorry, that one always gets me. Which one? Where the co where the continent splits and people fall in and it immediately smashes them together. Hang Scrunch. on. <laughs> oh, and there goes half the ship. And everyone falling. Well, guess I don't get an airship, huh? Oof. Help. And Goodbye, some Blackjack. nukes. And watching the nukes from orbit. As Pretty the continent literally splits and drifts apart. And on that day, the entire world was changed. Oh no, the imp has died. No more Kappas for you, I'm afraid. Oh, wait, there's a the line. On that day, the world was changed forever. Yes, this is the event that we've been alluded to for, like, quite a long time, by the way. Welcome mm. to what is officially known as World of Ruin. Yep. And every, and everybody that says Ke uh, the worst Final Fantasy villain is Sephiroth, uh, no. No. Yeah, Sephiroth never pulled one of these. Yeah. He wanted to pull one of these. He wanted to do this. Kefka actually did it. I mean, technically, Kefka won. Yeah. By all points, Kefka literally has just control of the world. Yep. Oh, I'm still napping. I'm not allowed to wake up yet. Hey, I know that rain slicker. <laughs> uh, raincoat wearing. I'm trying to remember. I think last time I decided to model him off of Machinima Bridge uh, 7, Sid. Yeah.
Celeste, at last. Celeste, at last. Celeste, at, no, oh, sorry. You're finally awake. I feel like I've been sleeping forever. For one year, actually. Thought you were out for good. A whole That's horrible. Year. You've watched over me the whole time? Yeah, and I'm about out of energy. We're on a tiny desired island. Desired. We're on a tiny deserted island. After world crumbled, I awoke to found this here together with a few strangers. The world. So it wasn't just a dream. Where are my friends? Where's Locke? I don't know. I only know we're here. Maybe we're the only people left alive. Since that day, the world's continued to slide into ruin. Animals and plants are dying. The few others who washed up here with us passed away of boredom and despair. My friends, they're probably all gone. Celeste, you're the closest thing to family that I have. We could just live out our lives here peacefully. I suppose so, Sid. Or should I say Granddad? May I call you? Gramps, huh? I'm overwhelmed. All of a sudden, I've got a granddaughter. <laughs> <coughs> My long-lost granddad. <coughs> hey, are you hungry? I haven't eaten in three or so days, ever since I became ill. What would you like? Well, unless I ask for fish, I won't get anything. That's all there is here. I'll go catch some. Alright. So here is where things get interesting. Oh, before I get into that, though. No! Spy Hunter! Don't say it ain't so. He doesn't have the COVID. Anything oh, but no. that. Gramps got COVID. No! Alright, so let's oh. sprint down. <coughs> Pardon me, that was a real cough. Yeah. Uh, so this, so here's the trick to this. Uh, it's it's a mini game which can give us different endings depending on what happens. Yeah. There's a couple different qualities of fish. If you'll see, there's ones that are swimming. You got this one right here that's real fast, like right there. That's one. Yeah, this one that's kind of normal. You got this one over here that's like super freaking sluggish. So the different ones have different qualities. Like I'll show you one of them right now. Uh, notice this one says yummy fish. So that's actually best quality. The yummy fishes will help Sid heal. The average fishes, the ones like this, will keep him alive, but it, they'll, they just kind of stabilize him. And these ones will actually make him sicker. And there's one that moves even slower than that, that if you get that one, it's instant death. Yeah. So, so the trick is, is you have to get the best quality fish possible I'm going to skip the lines for this until we get to actual lines, but because it's literally just going to be this over and over again. I'll say it the one time, and then we'll just skip. Granddad, here's a fish. Yep. Eat up. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not long for this cruel new world. <laughs> so he has different lines depending on if his health is getting better or worse. And then if you don't have any fish here that you actually want, like I do right now, thankfully, um, if you don't have any fish here that you actually want, what you want to do is go talk to him again. It lowers his health slightly every time you talk to him without a fish, but it's not a major deal as long as you don't get skunked a lot. And I'm actually hitting a really remarkable string of good luck here. I've never had three yummy fish back to back like that. Never. <laughs> yeah, that's uh I somehow have like the worst luck where it's like I get a yummy fish and then it's just a long string of like stabilizers. I usually get a lot of just the really sluggish ones. Like what is this luck? What is this luck? 
I'm wondering if the ROM was actually hacked to improve the luck of actually healing him. Because this is the best string I've gotten yet. Yeah. And I mean, I'll take it, because I kind of want to save him. But at the same time... Okay, so like this time there's no fish at all, so you have no choice but to go reset. Yeah, right? Exactly my point is that it normally it takes for freaking ever. Like, I don't understand. But I'm getting, I was getting pretty good luck there, getting four, uh, four yummy in a row. Uh, that's a stabilizer at least. <laughs> Oh, you're going to have to bear it a little bit longer, old man. And by a little bit, I mean probably around 15 to 20 more fish. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. See, that's what I'm used to is skunking out altogether or getting nothing but crap fish. That's yeah. the kind of luck I'm used to. Yeah. There we go. Another yummy. Nice. Come on. Up here. Up here. Come on. There you go. There you go. I think we're almost to hack hack. I feel a little better. Yeah. Which, that's usually the sign. Yeah, that's so. usually the sign that you've definitely turned a corner. Um, and if people are wondering, like... It... Holy fuck. Yeah. Another a good one. Yeah. Uh, one thing that I do know is that technically you can leave the beach, uh, if you don't pick up any fish, and then go back to the beach, it will re uh, respawn the fish, and you can get uh, different ones. So. But every you have to talk to him in between each time. Hey, hack hack, I feel a little better. Yay! And that's another fast. One. There we go. Come on. Come to Auntie Celeste. <laughs> I was going to say Mama Celeste, but uh, this is a fish, not a pizza. Eh? <laughs> uh, admittedly, it would be a okay. real fish pizza. I don't think that is a... Yeah, that one's a stabilizer. That one should be fine. I'd rather go back with a stabilizer than nothing at all. <laughs> now, I don't know the exact scale, so these numbers are all off the top of my head in the way I think about it. But if you imagine that he's got a health of like 1 to 100. Oh, I guess that wasn't a stabilizer. Shit. Uh, went down? Yeah, he went back to heck hack, I can't handle this much. Or no, uh, he went back to I can't handle this much longer. Okay. Oh no, that or there was an issue with the ROM and it doesn't read them right. In which case mm -hmm. I should stop catching those and just talk to them directly when I don't have any when I don't have any yummies. Yeah. Okay, the beach is empty. Okay, that's two skunks in a row. Oh god, he's already back down to not long for this cruel new world. I think there's Ew. an issue with this. I think there I think we may end up losing this one unless I get another good run. Yeah. Which thankfully I did get another yummy. Yeah. So that should bring him back up to cough wheeze. So if I imagine this on a reduced scale, 
Yeah, it did bring him back up to cough wheeze. So, anyways, what I was trying, what I was starting to say, is if you imagine, like I normally imagine it as like a fifty point scale because it feels like that most of the time. Um, the yummy fish increased uh, his health by like two. Yeah. The stabilizers are a z are should be uh, maintain him at zero. The not so great but not terrible fish should be uh should be like a minus one mm -hmm. or like a minus it's like minus no like minus two sorry and then there's yeah. the really bad fish which is literally drops into zero basically it's poison yeah it's so bad it's literally toxic to him yeah But then every time you talk to him without a fish, it's a minus one. So, so the stabilizer yeah, it, is supposed to be better than talking to him without a fish. Because it's supposed to be... Because, uh, like, even if you... T uh, it's the whole point is if you talk with him with a fish, the yummy one gets a uh, plus one to his health. Because when you still talk to him, it's, there's still the minus one part. Ah, uh, I think I might know why. No, it says just a fish. This should be a stabilizer. Yeah. It's a fugu. Ooh, yeah, that could be bad. You might have to fill me in on that one, because I'm not sure what lemon curry is referring to. Uh, fugu is a type of sushi... And it is a delicacy. Oh, is it that, that one that if it's not prepared exactly perfectly right, it will kill you? Yes, because it's made by pufferfish. And if you nick uh, one of the organs in... Uh, I think it's like literally if you nick any of the... Or, uh, uh, like any of the digestive organs and a couple of certain other ones... It basically has a neurotoxin Ooh. that just gets all over everything. Yeah, I remember so. reading about it once. I couldn't remember what it was called, but... Oh, it's Poison Sack, apparently. But I remember yeah, reading I... about it once that um, it was one of those things where, like, literally only certain restaurants even attempt to, and even then, you're going to have to sign a waiver to actually eat it there, just uh, in case something Japan... does go wrong. Yeah, Japan, you have to be, uh, like, you have to go through a, th a certification process. Mm -hmm. And we're talking, like, the strictest, like, like governmental regulation uh, type of uh, test. And ah, most of the time, we're almost there. So close. Celeste, thanks for all you've done for me. I wish we could just feed him the bird. <laughs> Now, Eat why would you want to feed him pal? Uh, I mean, sorry, what? I'm sorry, that is my head cannon. Which one? That the bird is Palador. Oh. For fairly obvious reasons. Yeah. Okay, almost there. I just gotta keep giving him good fish. Come on, all the fishies. And skunk. That's okay, though. That's okay. That's okay. We will manage. We just go, reset real quick. He's still thanking me for everything we've done. We're gonna save the old man's life. God damn it, skunk again. That's okay. It's okay. Shake it off. And he's back down to feeling a little bit better. But we're still in a good place. Yeah, we're still in a good place. And we got healthy fish. This is some non-GMO, free-range, ethically sourced, uh, I don't know, sea bass. Uh, 
that is a stabilizer, so we'll take that, because that's all there is. Come on, old man. We're back down a little better, but that's okay. That's okay. Or no, we're still a little better. We did fall back down. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We got another fast fish. Yeah. Come on, fast fish. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There we go. Not giving up on you yet, old man. Let's do this. And I'm sorry. I know some people would probably actually go the alternate route and deliberately let him die because there's a great dramatic scene. But I just can't do that. I'm not one of those. I can't. We're not assholes. I mean, uh, sometimes. But not in this regards. Yeah. In this case... Speedrunner's tactic is to try and get uh, get said to death as fast as possible. Yeah, because honestly, at that that's the fastest way through this scene. Because as you can see, this is not gonna. This is taking us a little while. Yeah. Um, but it's okay. Well, it's okay. Have, yeah. Um, we could probably discuss the scene that we're not going for. Yeah. Which is. So basically, if you let Sid die, uh, Cells gets suppressed and actually commits suicide after several months of being basically starving herself. I mean, attempts, technically. Attempts. She, um, uh, she remembers a story of the people that he mentioned before that they would get depressed and die. Uh, she remembers a story of them flinging themselves off a certain cliff. And so she goes up there and flanks herself off the same cliff, but washes back up on this beach, and the uh, bird here kind of wakes her. Yeah, it, it's also kind of implied that there were other people on the island. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's, it all... was straight out said earlier. Yeah, but they all either committed suicide or they died to monsters. Hey, we're getting further. My dear, I feel I'm not going to be around much longer. I will say that scene was impactful after I learned you could save Sid. I don't think I could have let him die too. Yeah, it's yeah. just, it's one of those things where, you know, like, like you said, it is an impactful scene. And we're here to entertain, but at the same time, there's boundaries. Yeah, we, I mean, like, I, I know some people feel that it's much more thematically correct and supposedly Sid dying is technically canon. Technically, but at the same time, if it can be prevented without use of cheating, just by playing yeah. the actual mini game that they gave you, then it's, I mean, let's do it. Yeah. Because this isn't like the, oh, hey, Game Genie, save Leon, uh, Leo. Uh, this yeah. is a legitimate, the game actually does give you the path to do so. Mm-hmm. And for anyone who didn't know about that, yeah, there is a Game Genie code where you can actually bring him back in. Leo, that is. But uh, it messes with stuff in the game if you do it. So aside from the yeah. fact that we're playing no cheats, uh, yeah, wouldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't and know that you is... could save Sid when I played. I thought the whole point was that your effort was futile. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're supposed to think that. Hey, yeah. look at him go. Hey, zip it about. Woohoo! What's up? C Celeste, the project that kept me going over the past years down below. Go have a look at it. So we've done it. We have he saved lives. We did it. We saved Grandpapa. Hey, what's this? A raft? Granddad. Celeste, you must leave this place. You have to find your friends. I know, but I'll bring them all back to meet you. That eh, Lockfellow too, no doubt. <laughs> I 
So yes, yeah, so we got the happy ending for this scene, for this area. Yep. Well, uh... Sid is quite the optimist. Yeah, that he is. That he expects every single one of her friends to have lived. Well, at least enough to call it a plural. Yeah, enough of uh, her friends to basically like fight against uh, what's happening. Mm -hmm. Well, keep in mind that at this point, all he knows what's happening is that this island is fucked. Um, and in the scene, in the scene where, like, if Sid dies, technically we wake up to the bird waking up cells and then finding a letter addressed to her by Sid mentioning the raft. Yeah, so you still get the raft for sure either way. That's without question. And I get to equip her again. That's okay. Because everyone was unequipped by the end of the world. Uh, what's something good? I'll give her a back guard. That'll help her. Since she's running around by herself. Mm -hmm. Alright. We are now officially on in the world of ruin. I mean, granted, we have been officially for a few minutes while we were on what I usually refer to as Pal uh, Palador Island. Because that's where you find him later. Yeah. Not a spoiler, just truth. I don't know, maybe it is a spoiler too? I don't know. Anyways. Oh, hey, look. That looks like an ominous tower. Let's not go there. Yeah, let's not touch that. Mesosaurs. Oh, one ran away. Whoa, what version is this? This is the uh, PSX version. Yeah. Which is technically an emulated version. A uh, slightly cleaned up and emulated version of the SNES version. And yes, this one still has a bit of censorship in it. Yeah, it's not it's not the like the more modern ones where they kind of where they tried to revert as close as possible to the uh, original intent, shall we say? Yeah. Mesosaur. Um, and really, I think... God, I, I need to go find that... Uh... Uh, supposedly. So there is like an opening cutscene. Uh, and once you beat the game, you can access others. I'll be honest with you, I've actually never beaten the, the PSX version. I owned it, but I never got all the way through it because I was too busy playing 5, and then I ended up losing my PSX in a series of unfortunate moves. Yeah. Um, I, I've beaten 6 on Super Nintendo, PlayStation, and GBA. Well, how do you do? But that was because of the fact that it's like the GBA. Oh, wait, this is our work content. Okay. That's okay. We, yeah. we can still st stop in here for um, resupply. Yeah, and there are. Like, I did find a couple of things. Uh, translation comparison. Wait, do I have? Yeah, I do have all three. Okay. I was like, I thought I did. And Anyways, now yeah. we can probably. Grab those. Uh, uh, who are we hitting first? Well, the first one we have to get. No, I guess we technically don't, but I get everyone, so I just literally yeah. go in order. I mean, like I don't have the any one Bart hat, but that... I don't need Bart happy as I have Green Berets out the ass. Yeah. I so know, like technically, the next one, the way I always play, is Saban. Sabin is technically the one that they always intend people to get first. Because mm -hmm. that's why it's like the second closest town. Yeah. Uh, I have one time just said fuck it and 
went and did the one thing that allows us to get around the world. And that was horrible hot garbage. So, don't recommend gunning straight for that quest. Oh, you get... Yeah, well, I mean, you technically can do... There's actually an entire type of speedrun devoted to playing this game with literally only three characters. Yeah. Which I personally do not do. I'm not going to say that I don't recommend it, because do as you will, but it's not for me. If you enjoy doing that, it go right ahead. We're I like not gonna having stop. a varied cast. Yeah. Really... So, but are, are we going to try and grab uh, my favorite character? Or... Yes, we're definitely going to grab your favorite character. Yay. You can use that image. Which is the weirdest image that's on, uh, that I've found so far. Tell me when we're going to do that, and then I'll use that image for the uh, video. Okay. Uh, remind me later who I'm thinking of. Okay. But, yeah, this is the part where the world technically opens kind of back up for everybody. Parts of it open up. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop being conservative with my MP. This is these these fights are a little too rough. Oh hey, I got cool glasses. Nice. And, and if people go like, why do we just say like cool uh, glasses? All I can uh, all I can say is that it's bugged. <sighs> it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. It wasn't it implemented properly. Yeah. I mean, like, in the GBA version, I believe. I know definitely later. I don't remember if it's GBA version or... I uh, know no, I the... think it is GBA version, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. Because I remember us having this discussion previously that it does actually work there. Mm-hmm. Well, quite a little town on the desert. I'm sure nothing exciting is happening here. Oh, didn't know that, because, like, right now I'm looking up, uh... Get out of my way, NPCs! Saban! Oh, wait, no. Uh, yeah, Saban. Hey, Celeste! Let's get... Let's head in. Wait... If I move, the whole house will collapse. First, save the child that's in there. Can't hold this up forever, so get him out on the hub. Again, I seem to remember this having a longer timer for some reason. Yeah. Because six minutes is really short for what we need to do in here. But yeah, let's see, um, just double checking the censorship aspect. Oh wow, that was super ineffective. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, let's hustle.
<laughs> Damn it, I thought I had two shoes with her. Ah, yes. The house! Yep. Sorry, I was double-checking the censorship stuff. And technically one of the things we could check is summoning Siren, but let's not do it in the house. Cause... Yeah, no, definitely not. And I also don't think it got... that one got depixelated. Or de... Desensored? Yeah. For the PlayStation one? Yeah, I don't think so. Go Rod. Come on. These freaking fights. I'm not gonna even make it to the freaking basement at this rate. Of course I got the... F mm. I definitely have time for this. Yes, please die one at a time. That's so great on my time. Yeah, I know I missed one. I'm running out of time. I'm just I'm gonna have to start skipping chests. Yeah. I think in uh the GBA version, uh I think they kept the time for this one, which is actually kinda weird. Because I, I, I swear the GBA version did increase the time over uh like for most time sections. But down to two minutes. Come on. Is it? Yeah, there he is. Of course that one was a monster in a box. It's okay. I got two minutes. Most of two minutes. <laughs> and this was effective last time, so this should be fine. Yep. Hey, so let's gain the level. I'm a little bit more optimistic on my time now than I was a minute ago. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, shake it off. Because that should take those two out. 
No, it didn't. Oh wait, yes it did. Okay. I don't know if a warp stone would work in here. Uh, I don't believe so. Oh hey, there's Drainer. <coughs> Sorry, normally I'd mute, but... Okay, so I can do this in two actions instead of three. That's for the best. That's fucking concerning. Uh oh. And unfair. Hmm. That's not nice. Not even remotely. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I can plan around that. That's okay. That's okay. Shake it off, Should bounce be... back, do better this time. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I got a plan for it. It's okay. No. Which one is it? I never do this, but I know that... <laughs> Don't I? Do I not have that currently? Which thing? Uh, protect against stone. E yeah. Um. Okay, so back to the relic shop in the other town. I yeah, intend to get that before we go back here. Yeah, that's uh, that's an ouch, good sir. Okay, see, that's just, oh. It's okay, though. Because in the course of running back, I'm going to get a little bit of XP. And in the course of getting a little bit of XP, I might level again, which will make this a little bit easier the next time around. Yeah. And I just realized the mistake I was making. I was like, I should have Tier 2s. No, I'm currently learning the Tier 2s. There's a bit of a difference there. Run past the creepy tower. Oh boy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Of course you did. Cheeto need. And sneeze. Whoop. <sighs> oh well. <sighs> Things are what they are. That so. is true. Alright. Relic shop was on the far side of town. 
The one place I never stopped in because I'm like, oh, I always get all everything I need. Uh, somehow I've forgotten about needing protection against Petrify. Because that's now a thing. Uh, let's see, that's Vigor. Jewel Ring, that's it. Did we, like, equip it on somebody else? No, I didn't own one. Well, because that's not one that you get dropped early on, or at least if it is, it's something I missed. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go ahead. She's got a little bit of MP uh, usage needed to recover. Let's go ahead and stay in the end real quick. Get out, uh, out of my way, madam. Yeah, 300 GP. It is pricey, but whatever. When I've got like 160,000 GP, 300 is literally a drop in the bucket. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back to town. Before I enter town, I will stop, equip the jewel ring, save, and then we will continue on. In the meantime, I'll keep wearing my protection against back attack and pincer attack. Yep. Hey, a Helamantis. Aw, Mesasaur ran away. Bye, Helamantis. Cool, something else for me to uh, meet up with on the Velt later. Your. Okay, that's the perfect place. Jewel ring. Nope, not Memo. I've made that mistake before. <laughs> Set myself up for... There, okay. Not doing it right now, obviously, but... Just want to make sure it's set for when I need it later. Anything to shave a second or two off here and there. Like this time, I remember that only I, the only thing I need are chests, and I don't need to experiment at all with what to do with the fights. Blah blah blah. Let's go. There's a kid in there. Save them, and then we can uh, get out. Scorpions, don't bother screwing around with magic. Just straight up fight them. Stress about healing right now. I can heal after the next battle. Damn it, I ran past the freaking pearl rod. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the other thing is I, I also forgot last time we were in here that you can actually uh, dash in the PSX version. Yep, and if you wear... Sprint shoes, it's a double dash. Which can be yep. really hard to control, but it's also faster, so... As long as I don't pass the everything.
Okay, so we're gonna heal real quick. <laughs> oh, come on. Now you're just being petty game. <coughs> Sorry. Salute. Okay, so this time. one, fire first. Bolt second. One of them will use stone, which will have no effect because I'm wearing the jewel ring. Or maybe it just won't even use it and save me that couple seconds. I like that even better. See? Didn't even use it. Because it knew it wasn't going to do shit. Hyper wrist, that's always good. Okay, that's one of the monster in the boxes with 4 p.m. stalkers. Which, easily enough, just magic, fire, all four, and say goodnight, Gracie. Hi, everybody. And here we go. Oh, okay. 112 that time. And Celeste gained a level. Ice 2. That's nice. I'm not using ice right now, but maybe I could. I don't want to try on the PM Stalkers, but maybe on the other guys it might work. Um, we're making good time, though. Much better than last time. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it on all three. We'll see how it plays out. You can't go better than full health, so... Yeah. Effective. Nice. Th that's a one-hit move I can use. Good. Granted, if it's just PM Stalkers, I'll prefer Fire since it's cheaper, but... It works. Magisite. Small child. I am scared. Well, don't sit in on the mantle of a collapsing house, kid. Here's a pro tip that will kill you. Yeah. I mean, you can not save the child, but I think it results in a game over once you trigger the event to save the child. So I'd just as soon not do that for multiple reasons, not just because I'm not a jerk. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 actually, no, screw it, just, just fight through. Now's not a time for experimentation. Hmm. Okay, still got almost two minutes. And so let's learn a new spell. So now she has Bolt 2. Nice. Wait. Okay, no, there is nothing in that clock. That is the one clock in the game. Ah. Okay, you know what? No, screw it. I've got time on the clock. I want to know. Inquiring minds need to know. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. Guys, I am so sorry. That was me being a complete nutter moron.
I got so wrapped up in paying attention at the time, I forgot to pay attention to her health. That is 100% my fault. That was just plain stupidity. I feel very bad about that. And it will not happen again. I promise. In unrelated news, this is not my tryout for GDQ. Oh, no. Okay, so that was ent entirely worthless. Do not ever do that again. Got it. Uh, did you see them break the game wide open last time they had it on? I honestly did not. I may have missed that. Granted, in fairness, I miss a lot of GDQ. Yeah. Sorry about that. You're not forgiven. Oh, no. For some odd reason, my headset was keep beeping at me, like, battery low. I'm like, I'm sitting on the charger all day. Uh, has the charger been plugged in all day? Uh, yeah, because right now the charger is also uh, charging up my controller. Ah. Well, I have no answer for that then. Okay, so an important lesson was learned last battle. Even with tier 2 magic, scorpions have enough of a resistance that it's not worth it. Yeah. I just thought about something, and I don't have the time to futz with it right now. Actually, I do, but only if it actually works. So I'm going to check really quick, and I hope I'm right. Ah. Okay, no. Battle speed is at its fastest already. I was just okay. double-checking to see if maybe I had it slightly slower than fastest. Ah. Because if so... And since neither of the monster in a box is actually drops, I think I'm going to go ahead and just straight-up skip them this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just, if I recall correctly, the monster in the boxes are basically just time wasters. I mean, they're good Pez, True. but I can get just as good Pez later after I uh, finish this mm -hmm. and get Sabin. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure if the mic's picking it up, but there are fireworks works going on outside my apartment. So if you hear the popping, uh, please do not be alarmed. Uh, we are currently participating in the uh, several times a year Tucson tradition uh, traditional fun game. Is that gunshots or fireworks? <laughs> and these ones are fireworks. Child, jump off. Let's go. Oh, damn it. That's the box I was trying to avoid. Give me strength.
That's okay, it's not a terrible time waster, and I've still got three minutes on the clock. This has actually been my fastest run yet. I'm paying attention to my health. My health is in the 800s. I'm still good. We're not doing this a third time. I promise you guys. Got Drainer. Hermit Crabs and PM Stalker. That means Ice 2. Still making good time. Ah, screw it. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm back on the first floor. I've gotten all the other chests. Life is good. Let's just do it. Okay, this is the fight where I gotta keep an eye on health. Because they each do about a hundred damage a hit. Okay, so after this battle, definitely healing. Because I'm down, yep, 500s. Still well over half of her MP, which is good because she has used a couple of, well, she's used, yeah, a couple of uh, tier 2 spells. Right, so let's got Bolt 2 again. Almost out. Almost free. Scorpions, just physical attack. Grant, if it wasn't for having to worry about Jewel Ring, what almost might be better would be Black Belt. Especially for this fight. But... Yeah, no. No way in hell am I making that trade out. They haven't been using stone, but that's probably because the game detects that I can prevent it. Because I've noticed that the game will do that sometimes. Thirty-nine seconds on the clock, we're out. Third time's the charm. Wait! Huh. Oh no, what happened? No, that was saving yelling weight. Oh. As he jumped away from the house and let it collapse. Yeah, I was starting to have audio issues for some reason. Yeah, you're right. Saving, so. you're alive. But of course, did you th you think a minor thing like the end of the world was going to do me in? I thought everyone was gone. I had given up all hope, but fortunately I was wrong. Now I know they're all alive. We need to find everyone, then... I know, I know. We smashed Kefka and deliver peace unto the world. All right, time to give some equipment to Sabin. Wait, first I need to equip his relic. 
because my dude is going to be rocking out with a black belt, but also a Genji glove. So he can punch twice. And or because it increases his battle power for his blitzes. Yep. I think he was done, right? I'm remembering that. Pretty sure I just was going to put him on a frit for uh, Vigor. Although I probably should yeah. put him back on Bismarck for Vigor. Because that's the better big Vigor growth. That's yeah. what I had done before. Okay, I made a mistake earlier. I can admit that. Let's go ahead and top off Celeste real quick. Mm -hmm. Also, game, you have some strange notions about who's the leader in, in this continent, in this part of the game. Let's reorder the group. It is time for Buff Boy. The buffest of boys. Okay, yeah, that's right. He sold one now, but... Zombie petrifying the lake. Oh, well, no, not yet. I don't have to worry about zombie just yet. I don't think. Do I? No. Uh, not until no. not until a certain other place. Yeah. Mm. And even then, it's not a major issue. Just don't heal the person who has zombie. Done. I do want to check equipment real quick, just in case they've gotten any updates. I don't remember what shops do and don't have updates. I mean, technically, I could get a second fire knuckle, but, uh... And nothing but depressing tales here. Okay, so next place to go with our remaining half an hour is... We're gonna go take a trip across... Oh, wait, first save. First save. Let's not make any mistakes. Because while I feel confident I could do that again, I'd rather not put any of us through doing that again. Yeah. So I'm trying to remember. Next is I, I'm pretty sure next is Tina, right? Pretty sure, yeah. Uh, nice little land bridge over here. Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember now. I remember. Because then after we talk, we do the events with Tina, we go to the other end of... Because this is uh, what used to be the Serpent Trench. Mm. 
Oh, you all want to mess with Celeste, huh? Stupid, whatever. Ah, bloom pyres. I remember those. This should be effective on them if I remember right. <laughs> If not, that definitely should. Why is it that's super effective on them? Or is it just that nothing is? Because I could have sworn something was super effective against them. And it actually did like thousands of damage instead of like five. Uh... Great. My mind is only thinking of, like, <coughs> me. maybe it's a, like, a blue magic? Maybe. Like, aqua rake? Yeah, something water-based does sound right. And the only water-based spells. Uh, uh aqua outside. rake, uh, the couple things out of water rondo... And a couple of different, uh, a couple of different rages. A couple of, uh, and I think one or two summons. Oh yeah, Bismarck is, uh, water-based. Yeah. Even though Bismarck is now kind of this weird air-water whale now. Well, that's 14 specific. Actually... Uh, Unless they release something on 16, I don't know about. It, it's one of those ones where it's like, I looked at some of the later versions, and some of the other ones, like the MOBA, uh, like the mobile uh, gacha games, like Opera Minia, they turned them to an air water thing. Huh. Okay, so definitely not that. Doesn't matter, because you're dead anyways. <laughs> I guess just don't stress uh, yeah. it too much. I mean, it's not like they're that strong even even with that extreme damage reduction. Yeah. It's just annoying. Yeah. Annoying is a great word for it. So, since we're now in the world of Ruin, and I can talk a little bit more freely now... Okay. Uh, are we going to go deal with the Forest of Dinos? I mean, probably at some point just to show it off a little bit. I'm definitely going to, at a minimum, hit it off stream because I need to get rages from there. Or rages rage. and... Oh, and also, I think... What is it they drop? I know they have a rare drop that's actually incredibly good. Uh, the Brachiosaurs and it's... Economizers. Is it Economizers? It's Economizers, as nice. far as I can tell. Hey, Celeste gained a level. Oh, hey, what's this weird little hut in the middle of nowhere? Oh, well, let's check it out. After we heal up just a touch. I'm not terribly worried about my MP. I just want to have enough. I just want to have full HP. Yeah. Oh wait, that's right. There is a... I just remembered. There's a way you can heal in here before events. Oh, puppies. Someone's coming! 
cool, cool. Um, I don't want there, I don't want there, I want here first. <laughs> I forgot about the... Even though I actually even mentioned this in a previous stream, I forgot about that bed for a second. Oh, the bed? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Admittedly, Tina is usually not the sec is not the one I usually go for first off. It's weird. Really? Yeah. Um, I I kind of get like Setzer, and then I go uh, try and get Edgar. Uh, you definitely and... have those backwards. Yeah, I, I try and do Edgar, and then I do Tina. Uh, Setzer. And then Tina. So, and then Tina. I mean, technically, you don't, you can't really even get her right now. You just get a little bit of story, but I mean, it's story. You have to do it anyway, because it's like certain amounts of story beats that you have to meet. You're going to have to fight your way in here, chumps. Wait. They're not monsters. Tina. Well. Mama, are these your friends? Mama, huh? Tina's been a little bit busy in the last year or so. Yeah, I was like, that's one year. Every single one of them is older than a year old. That's some that's some interesting uh, backstory we just stumbled upon. Oh, I'm so no. glad to see that you're safe. I missed you. <laughs> Tina, come on, let's go. Unless we stop Kefka, all's lost. I... Okay, you, wait, was there anything important over here other than talking to the silly lovebirds? No, okay. Just That small is, joke. I, um, I can't fight any longer. The very day the world fell, Kefka turned some of this kind of beam on this town. Almost all the adults perished trying to save their children. So, no, Tina wasn't busy the entire year. Tina... Adopted a town's worth of children. Yeah. Still kind of sad, though. It's heading this way. Protect the kids. Well, we stand exactly on the fault line it's creating. Uh-oh. Papa! Mama! Weird boy! There were only children here. The moment I arrived, I felt needed. You can't take Tino away. Dwayne, please excuse him. It's just that if Tina goes, she takes with her the very spirit of our survival. These people are a little bit, um... Needy? Grabby. I mean, what? I don't know why these kids need me, but they've made me feel things I've never felt before. The moment I sense this, I've lost my will to fight. <laughs> I can honestly say I don't know what's going on inside of me and the more I try to understand it the less inclined I am to fight uh, yes 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 the parents are gone I think I have to try and exit don't I yeah Help! Run! Funbaba's coming! Hmm. 
Fumbaba is an ancient demon who was released when the world was undone. I'm glad you have time for exposition, Tina. Oh. Nope, not Thunder. At least I did it with Tina. Yeah. Tina, wake up! Oh, here it comes! Not that easy, my friend. That's just straight up fight. I have a feeling claws are gonna do more damage. Yeah. Oof. Bolt three. Oh boy. Oh, that didn't yep. hit that hard. This is when the game starts tossing out like the three tier spells. Admittedly, I think certain aspects uh, have them nerfed a bit. Another solar plex on Saban. You live to fight another day, Fumbaba. Uh, where's I, I really lost it. My fighting edge. No. Mama, are you okay? I'm staying here. As you can see, I can't be of any help to you. And besides, the children really need me. But, Tina... Maybe after a little more time passes, I need to understand what's happening to me. But yeah, so now once I get Setzer... Thanks for scaring Fumbaba away. In his haste, he dropped this. Here. And I got Fenra. Fenrir. Which means I now have something for Saban to actually learn from. Yeah. X zone and stop. Uh, the two weakest spells in the game. <laughs> two. Uh, I mean, they're not completely useless. useless. X zone has Look. a very, very specific combination use. Yeah, but that's generally if you can get that first spell on oh. enemies. Well, yeah, that is true. Although, if I anyway. really don't, if I run into Intangir on the Velt and I really don't feel like dealing with him, it's one way to get past the fight. True. Though, then again, if I was fighting on the Velt and I ran into Intangir, I would also have Gao, and I have a Rage that does a Snare attack that snares also 100% auto hit in, uh, when the enemy's invisible. Hmm. Life hacks. Kind of faded out there. Oh, there yeah, just 100% uh, guaranteed auto hit with the Snare, just like with uh, X-Zone and with Doom. Yeah. Um, all I could think of was trying to, uh, trying to remember Fenrir's, which I think it says like a thirty percent increase to MP. Yeah. I'm looking up. Yeah, whenever uh, whenever you level, the MP you would have norm normally gained is increased by thirty percent. 
So Fenrir is the one that if you want to power uh, buff your mage pool, the one you want to put on people and level with. Yeah. And Celeste learned Fire 2, which means she's now done with Madwin. Nice. Which means it is time for her, based on what I know now about what magic she has, it is time for her to go to Seraphim. Get some, get some healing. Yep. Get a nice Cure 2, a Life Spell. You know, the little touches that mean so much. So we're going to get ready to try and find the next party member. Yep. But we're probably going to stop before then. But we'll do some prep work. And Millie, since this is the PSX version, we don't get probably one of the cooler... Espers. Which one are you thinking of? Uh, one that they added in the GBA version. Which oh! Is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one doesn't show up. We, we can get the tiny versions uh, that do a lot of damage. That are really good for magic points. Yep. It provided you can hit but... them. Provided you can hit them and kill them. And survive their attack, which in this version of the game is called Blowfish. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Woosley. That was not needed. I mean, hell, even their name was woosley Cactuar? Uh, Cactrot in this version. Oh. Ah. Uh. I thought I had... Back or oh, I never changed her back, did I? No. Whoops. Ipsy. Oh, well, that's something I can easily fix now. Yeah, good enough. Close enough. Also, um, as to what you were alluding to, uh, what we were talking about with the Cactrot, uh, I, I was trying to say both Cactrot and Cactuar at the same time, but yeah. I think this is the wrong desert for that. I think that's a different desert. It is a different desert. Because that's the one over by Albrook, if I remember right. Yes. Um, just as a heads up for everybody, uh, in the GBA and uh, mobile and Steam version. Uh, they added in a few more summons, uh, re-added in a missing quest line, technically, and oh. the GBA version also had a added dungeon or two, which made reference to, uh, which added more espers you can get that were more modern espers ah. that have shown up. But, uh, one of the espers that they added, uh, was... A Cactar Esper. Specifically Jumbo Cactar. Jumbo. And the way you had to get him was basically defeat 10 Cactars, and then the next fight you fight is literally Jumbo Boy. 
And if you beat him, you get his Esper. Essentially, doing another Esper that uh, we, we will definitely get. It just boofed you on that one. Well, okay. So there is one Esper in question. I'm still deciding which direction I want to jump on. You know what I'm talking about. There's only one where you can really oh, yeah. make a choice. Yeah. Um, yeah, and here's the funny bit is that in the GBA and mobile versions slash Steam, they actually give you an option to revert it back. Oh, really? Wait, no, revert it. No, you're thinking, you're thinking the other one. Yeah, the other one. I'm thinking of the one that could be, uh, could be shiny, uh, shiny and magical or shiny and pointy. Ah, uh, yeah, that one, no, that one they've kept, uh, they kept the way it was. And they can then turn into something even shinier and pointier if you go to a certain place. Yeah. Um, admittedly, they added in an Esper or two that covered the abilities that Esper gave you if you kept it as shiny and magical. Well, technically, you already had another way around that, too. You just had mm -hmm. to uncurse it. Yeah. Oop, that's not what I was trying to do. Memory actually hurt me that time. Because I was just going to do basic attack, and I realized after I hit it submit that it was on blitz. So I, and I submitted an empty blitz command. Which, as you can imagine, did not do much. Oh, we're... I was going to say, we're coming up, getting closer to town, but if we could stop getting fights around this weird uh, walled off uh, tower. <laughs> we'll get there one day. One day. Oh, okay. Zombie is available at this point. Oops. And it's more, and I forgot that it's also has a low grade confusion built into it. Uh. And it apparently also blocks you from. It apparently also blocks you from gaining XP. That's not good. That's several pieces at once. That's okay. I've got revivifies. Actually, do I have the remedy spell? I think. Oh, remedy doesn't work. Damn. Yeah, it's only revivify, if I recall. Yeah, the life spell doesn't work either. Yeah, it must be just revivify. Oh well, I got a few of those. Just means I have to stock up on those at some point. Not like I'm necessarily low on cash, so I can afford to do so. But it's just kind of more of a irritant. So as we continue to wake, make our way um, downtown, uh, would you like to go ahead and start the outro, sir? Okay. So, um... In this case, they, uh, I'm going to double check, but there may be a stream tomorrow. It's going to be uh, Cyberpunk in whatever version it is, but we're going to be doing Cyberpunk uh, with me and Eddie, if we do it. Uh, other than that, we do have some po a couple of podcasts, of which there should be one on Sunday for Front Row Perspectives. Yay! Uh, probably on the following Tuesday, there will be another Front Row Weekly, of which this one's going to be interesting, because... Um, oh, wait. No, there's not going to be one this week, because there may be a... Uh, since, like, we finally got a couple of new episodes of Front Row Perspectives, or at least I have had one in the can, I just never uploaded it. Ah. And then a couple new ones probably on its way. Uh, you may be starting to see some like trade-off between Front Row Weekly and Front Row Perspectives. 
Uh, if you, uh, you can listen to these podcasts on any of your favorite platforms. That this is, is uh, so things like Apple, uh, like the uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Boot Fee. Um, if you want to support us, uh, the two best ways is word of mouth, let other people know about us. Whereas, uh, if you want a much more direct, we do have a Patreon, or you can use that subscription point on us. Uh, there's also a Redbubble store for merch. Uh, if you just kind of want to follow along, there's also, of course, uh, our Twitter, our Facebook, our Instagram, and, uh... I think that's about it? I believe so. Your. Meanwhile, while all that was happening, I was getting all kinds of fun on that last fight. Oh yeah, I saw it's like Imp and Zombie and now Poison and Dead. Yep. All kinds of fun. It was an eventful fight. <laughs> Well, let's continue pushing onward. Although I'm starting to feel like... Oh, oh wait, there it is, right there. Okay. Here is our next town. We will explore there and talk to its denizens and so forth next week. Uh, we got a couple minutes to kill, but that's pretty much... Well, I mean, we can dive in and see. If, it, if it's too complicated, then we can wait until next week and pick it back up. Yeah. Might as well at least take a gander at what we're dealing with next week. Ah, oh, we got the town of Nakia. Hmm, what do we got here? You're hiding from Kefka. Okay. I promise not to tell him where you are. Ship to South clear. Figaro, that sounds good. There's thieves hanging out at the coffee shop from Figaro Castle. Oh, right, the ones that were locked up. Uh, except the sign says pub, so that's a Wolseleyism that didn't really make its way all the way through. Yeah, admittedly, like, some of them got, I think on the PlayStation one, they actually reverted the signage from cafe to pub. The boss wants to sneak into Figaro Castle, wants to get her booty back. Our last boss, we met up with Jared in this town. That's an odd name, Jared. Gerard. Gerard. From out of nowhere, a bunch of huge sandworms burrowed into the prison. We followed their tunnels and escaped. Went into the castle through the secret cave that only we knows about. All right, let's go. I gave him a voice just because his accent made it very clear that he should have had one. Yeah. Hello, Woosley. You're all coming down over here. Where are you guys going? Oh, onto the boat to South Figaro. Hmm. I think I want to follow. Oh, I guess I can't. What are you doing? Get away! I guess I can't follow them. Darn. Hmm. Oh, no. Maybe there's something else happening in town that I didn't notice. Maybe I have to go find their boss. Yeah, find this... Gerard. Gerard. Get out of my way, dude. Mm. God, I hate NPCs sometimes. Crimson Rovers. Oh, hey. That's odd. You look familiar, dude. What's your problem? Oh, no. You're, you're edgy. edgy, aren't you? Okay, he's gonna go somewhere else. Oh, wait, no, you're still trying to go. The NPCs are getting in his way just as much. Edgar? Enough of this nonsense. I have things to do. I'll be getting busy. I'm busy getting ready for our departure to Figaro. Don't play possum with me, Edgar. Or have you somehow lost your memory? 
Listen, my lady, I've been Gerard all my life. Only Edgar would say, my lady. <laughs> What's all the bloomin' fuss about? The words, my lady, are used the world over. And yes, now I know we're in the opposite direction. We're technically slightly over, but there's a save on the other end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Might as well get this you knocked know out. how to get into Figaro Castle, don't you? Oh, do we ever? Yeah, you lead the way since it's buried. If we go to the Figaro continent. Yeah. By sneaking on board a shorp. Yep. You know, six is the only one you don't actually, like, you only get one type of vehicle in it. Is it the only one? Because you never get a boat. And, like, while you can rent a chocobo, I don't consider chocobos vehicles, per se. And the fact that you only rent them. Well, I mean, so. technically you could say the same about ten, then. Because you never actually own a boat. Yeah. And you could say, even, you could say the same, well, uh, more or less say the same about eleven. Even though that's an MMO, so the rules vary. Yeah, MMO is weird. Um, oh, no. Save. All right. I mean, like, so, with that said, we got a little bit of a preview of what's happening next week. Looks like we're going to be breaking into Figaro Castle, which is still submerged. So, in conclusion, I want to thank you all for tuning in to Front Row Geeks. Uh, this has been Faye Tess, along with Asher, playing Final Fantasy VI. Uh, we wish you a wonderful night. And a happy holidays. That as well. Bye, everybody. Bye. Back to that pizza. Tofu tuna.